You start life so young and full of glee. The one solitary moment when you felt so free times back then was so much simpler. Nothing to you even felt like filter. But now those days are long gone. Adulthood sets in once childhood's done. But you have to think positivity will help you get through the brink of it all. Wink, wink. Call me Kale, the sun's gone, it might rain with a chance of hail, so let us begin with my childhood tale. Born the smallest, sure not quite the tallest, but yet one of the chill ones that earthwarmingly had to befall us. Dad left when I was young, damn shame, would've fucking gotten no more if he stuck around and hung. Whether I was happy or pissed, when ones like those, you know I throw fit. I don't believe me, hell ask my mom, she even says she's sick and tired of his shit. School day starts settling in, where to begin, I'm a lone wolf, would rather be his domain fucking sleeping in. Going solo in this cool world is where I've been, until one dude who came along who I consider to be a part of my kin. RJ was his name, kind was his game, punks who gave him shit he dissed in response that would put him to shame. Does he put up his dukes to scare away the spooks? Nah, alternatives more neutral, less physical, from drawing so original to poems that feel very lyrical. That's funny, you write poetry too, so do I my talent and passionate buddy. A friendship that goes beyond to what we built upon to what eventually became our endearing brotherly bond. Sup, it's me Cory, peep this so that way you'll get to know me. Allow me to tell tidbits about my old days filled with rebellious glory. Growing up in the suburbs, the kind of juvenile with no filters, you heard? Even go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the teacher Brownstone, aka the motherfucking science nerd. My biological father was a fucking jerk, left I pull him all lounge around without a job, no work. Got engaged to a whack-ass stepdad who entertains me enough to leave me with a smirk. Met all sorts of different personalities in this crazy world, from my class peers who smell like bacon bits to a femme fatale who rides me thinking she's the only girl. Sometimes I get angsty. For me, it's a common frustration. Start hitting that 420 blunt for self-meditation. Used to roll with tons of homies, a few have stayed surely, but some have gone miles away undoubtedly. Still got my brother John, aka RJ, and all the while I found myself a fine pretty lady. Her name? Well shit, ain't this cute. Her name's Patty. My life is now clear. Woodstock's here, now growing a beard, and trust me y'all, it really doesn't look that weird. That's a wrap of my childhood to present day my peoples, is that clear? Yo, it's RJ, hitting you with rhymes that slave fucking right, that's me. Why just even ask my babe? 96 was my year, born on this earth with a mission to be kind of mellow, you know, being a straight up fucking deer. I pull through and come around from the sunshine smiles to the fucking frowns to the uprising ups to the downright damn downs. Never really had much of a childhood, shit, I wish some of it would have come out better than it could. Never really had much friends to hang, let alone even play a game of tag. Couldn't even invite my place for a sleepover, all the while I submiss a fearful father being a pushover with an overly bearing and dominant wife for a mother. My life felt like it was over. My only friend at that point was my brother. Glad you were there, little bro, to give my struggles a sense of closure. My cousin Chris told me to see the doc suggesting therapy to get a conclusion and clarity. Bear with me all cause from anybody who suffers from it, this ain't no rarity. He says for the many years of mixed emotions that I went through, this is true, my diagnosed emotional roller coaster disorder was revealed to be the common case of bipolar. Now I'm popping prescription pills, keeping myself intact with healthy, happy balance so I don't end up acting straight ill. With forever love for my family, my baby, as well as my friends, aka my homies, Kale and Corey, who always supports being there for me, I say these words heartwarmingly as I close the book on my childhood story.
into you even felt like filter But now those days are long gone Adulthood sets in what's childhood's done